In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create these glowing social media icons using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Rule here. And as you can see, this is the final output. Uh, so we will do a few things in this video. First, we will take the icons, PNG icons, and we will give them 3D look. And after that, we will apply a glow effect to make them glow. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, we will do some overall correction to make sure that the icons they blend in with the rest of the image So first let's open the photo uh, You can go to file open and uh, open any photo that you want But I highly recommend that you select a photo that has uh, already a dark background So you don't spend a lot of time, you know trying to fix it make it darker so the icons pop so this is a really good photo person has a phone uh, related to social media and it's a nice lighting first uh, unlock the background so double click on it hit ok now we can place the icons uh, go to file and then you go to place embedded here uh, let's start with the twitter one uh, you can select it and place it by the way if you want to use the uh, the background photo or the icons or anything the download link is in description so feel free to use it so uh, as you saw i put in the twitter icon here uh, actually we need to make it smaller so let's go and press command t uh, and make the logo a bit smaller so you can see my laptop is struggling a bit uh, so there might be some artifacts uh, i'm sorry <laughs> I cannot uh, afford a new laptop at the moment uh, but uh, this should do so I think uh, this uh, don't make them too big because we also want to see the person you know because they are the main focal point of the image uh, alongside the icon so this is enough actually we also need to apply perspective effect uh, for that you can again press command D uh, hold your control key or uh, command if you are using Mac uh, and then when you hold your com uh, command key you can actually manipulate just one of the corners so I'm gonna pu uh, put it like this because I want the bird to be you know flying at her and like a, in a nice perspective so this should be uh, uh, actually we can you know uh, exaggerate it a little bit so it's more obvious uh, okay that looks nice and confirm it so that's how you place the icon now i'm going to show you how to make it 3d but if you're a beginner and you're having hard time how to do it you can skip the 3d part and just start applying the glow effects but follow the effect it's fun look now uh, let's double click uh, on the layer and rename it to twitter uh, name every single layer because uh, it will it's really important like especially in this in this tutorial so the that's ready now i'm going to make a copy of it so press command j and you rename this copy to depth now uh, we need to rasterize it as you can see right now it's a smart object uh, which is good for the original one but not for depth so right click uh, and you can rasterize the layer then go to image adjustment and hue saturation now in hue saturation you can approach it many way but you just have to make it slightly different color and lighting than the original one because it's going to be creating depth so it looks needs to look different so uh, I'm gonna do is uh, change the hue slider a bit so we get a little bit different shade of the blue uh, and I'm gonna decrease the lightness a bit so it's more darker uh, and maybe saturation a touch okay this is enough hit ok now take the depth layer and put it under your main Twitter layer so it's behind it now it's a bit tricky part so focus carefully uh, I'm gonna press command T so make sure your depth layer is active then you press command T then you need to move it around a little bit using your mouse but if mouse is too difficult what you can do is use your arrow keys so move it out a little bit uh, and so make sure that you can see a little bit of it I'm gonna zoom in a bit more so you can see properly what's going on so as you can see there is this little bit line so I think here it looks all right uh, then you go and confirm it now don't press any other button okay by mistake otherwise the command will not work that I'm gonna show you so now what you do is you press command option shift and T see 
Now it's just repeating the same um, movement. So again, press Command, Option, Shift, and T. And this way you can create some fake depth effect. So three should be more than enough, uh, at least it looks to me. Uh, so what you can do is now combine all of this. So you click on the depth layer, hold your shift key and click on the final copy. Like just select all the depth layers and then press command E. And you have a really nice 3D effect on a single layer. So I'm gonna just rename it to depth, you know. That's done. Now we can apply some shadows to make it a bit more believable. Uh, so you click on your Twitter icon, then you right click and select a create clipping mask. It's important. So because now when we apply shadow, it will only show up on the depth and not outside anywhere. So now you double click on it and then you can apply a drop shadow. So in the drop shadow, my settings are like a 77, uh, 14 for the distance, 83 angle and 49. It doesn't matter. It depends on where you want it and what kind of look or intensity you want. So just play around with it until it looks nice to you. Uh, and then you can hit OK. So now uh, we have a shadow and pretty convincing looking 3D logo to be honest. So the depth part is done, which is actually more difficult <laughs> than glow. So hooray, you're done with the difficult part. So now I'm gonna go and make three copy of my Twitter uh, layer. So make sure the Twitter layer is active and then press command J once, again command J and again command J. So for this once, we don't need the shadow effect. So you can just drag it to the dustbin. If that's difficult, you can right click and select clear layer styles and that will remove the shadows. So you can again right click and clear layer styles and all three, uh, three of them are going to work as glow, just letting you know. So let's uh, shut down the top two layers so we can see what's going on, right? That's very important. So make sure your Twitter copy, the first copy, let's rename it to, you know, glow one. So let's make sure that the glow one is active, visible, and these two are hidden so you can see what's going on. After that, you go to filter, blur, and then you go to Gaussian blur. Uh, and you will apply a five pixel blur. Hit okay. And then you will change the blending mode of this layer to screen. It doesn't look very good, but it will build up. Don't worry about it. So now you activate copy number two, turn it on, rename it to glow two. Nice. So now again, when this layer is active, this time again, you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And instead of five pixel, we will apply 35. Oops, no, 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 no. Okay, my Photoshop almost crashed. Uh, 35 pixels and then hit okay. Uh, now this time, instead of normal blend mode, we will go and apply hard light. Uh, and then you will do the exact same thing with the copy number three. So you turn it on and you rename it to glow three. Then you go and apply blur. So you go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And again, 35 pixels and same. Uh, you can go to hard light. And there you have it, a really nice and convincing looking glow effect pretty fast see so this is normal this is first glow the second one and this is just the copy of it so i showed like this because it's a tutorial but normally you can just make you know glow too and then you can just duplicate that because that's basically what we did it's just you know i did it so we can repeat the steps and you can get a better idea of what i'm trying to do uh, and that's how i created the 3d icon and the glow but uh, I'm gonna do it again uh, with the Instagram icon so you guys have better understanding of it. And also Instagram logo is like a multicolored. So there are some things that are a bit different when we uh, do some steps. But before we go to Instagram, uh, let's uh, group everything together so it's easier to manage. So you click on the depth layer, hold your shift key and click all the way on the glow three. So everything is selected and then you can just press command G and it's in a group and we can just rename it as Twitter uh, and there you have it if you want to change anything you open it you go change whatever and then hmm. so now let's bring in the Instagram icon uh, go to file uh, place embedded uh, and then let's go and place in the Instagram logo so let's uh, make it a bit smaller so I'm gonna hold my shift key and make it a bit small 
uh, let's zoom in here and this one let's place it here uh, a bit more smaller actually a good advice is that you can resize it right next to your first logo so you have better understanding you know like how big do you want to make it so this looks okay to me uh, and then let's bring it all the way here now we can make it uh, like a, we can exaggerate the perspective so hold down your command key and then bring it this way like this uh, and then you can do it like this and it's 3d <laughs> uh, and confirm it so just like the last time uh, let's create a depth so first i'm going to rename the layer Uh, let's copy command J rename it to depth uh, what do we do first we make it uh, raster so you right click and uh, rasterize the layer then you go to image adjustment and hue saturation so basically what we are trying to do is make it look a bit different in color and lighting so let's change the colors a bit but this I prefer changing lightness a lot more compared to the actual color of it because it's too colorful and we might ruin it uh, so this should be all right hit ok now put your depth layer under your instagram now press command t to bring up the transform options and then you can use your mouse or you can use your arrow keys i prefer arrow keys to bring it a little bit to the side to see how it looks so that looks okay let's let me zoom in so you can see do you see the little bit of part coming out here yes that's exactly what we are trying to do so once you are happy with the positioning confirm it now directly press this command command option shift and t and it will repeat it if you want to make it even thicker command option shift t so now you can see a little bit of that Instagram line is coming out. So what you can do is just use your arrow key to shift it back a bit. It's okay. Uh, so that's done. N uh, depth is ready. Now I'm going to merge all of it. So select depth, hold shift key and like make sure all the depth layers are selected. Then press command E. So it's in a single layer, easy to manage and make sure it just says depth now let's apply the shadows so right click on the instagram one oops now let's apply the shadows so right click on your instagram and select create clipping mask then you can double click uh, and then let's apply a drop shadow so again for the drop shadow my settings are same i'm not changing much maybe i can go and uh, increase the opacity a bit to see how it looks uh, yeah, 100%, maybe it's too strong, right? Maybe 85, yeah, that looks better. And then hit OK. So now you have really nice depth. So that's done. Now let's quickly run through all the glow things. So this time I'm gonna um, do it a bit differently because you guys already know the steps. So first, I'm gonna make a copy, Command J, then right click, oops, uh, right click here, uh, and then uh, clear layer styles, then a uh, uh, I'm gonna go and uh, just apply the effect on it but before that let's rename it uh, glow one uh, now we can just apply the effect so you can go to filter blur Gaussian blur uh, five pixels uh, hit OK uh, then in the blend mode you go and change it to screen now you can just make copy of this you know just press command j and because it's a smart object we didn't rasterize it if you don't have smart object you will have to, to go back manually but because it's a smart object you can just directly click on the gaussian blur here you know where it says it double click and it will open up the option so now you can change it to 35 uh, hit ok and instead of screen we will make it hard light and then uh, let's rename it to glow 2 and then you can just make copy of it so command j uh, and rename it to glow 3 so this is exactly the same steps we did uh, as last time but just in a different way so whatever works for you and whatever you understand better so the uh, 
So everything is done and now we can group it. So click on your depth layer because that's always at the bottom and then hold your shift key and click on the glow three because that's at the top. Everything is selected, press command G, it's grouped and now rename this one to Instagram and you're done. So that's how I did uh, all the icons and uh, glow and depth. Uh, as you can see, the perspective of this could be a bit better, but, but you know, I'm doing it live. Uh, you can take your time. Now I'm going to show you how we can do the glow that's uh, that will show up on her face because you know there's like a small glowing 3D object right next to her face so it will cast some colorful lights. So for that, uh, make sure layer 0 is active then create a new blank layer on top of it and, and let's name it, uh, I don't know, face glow. After that, uh, you get your brush tool. Uh, in the brush, make sure first the opacity is 100 then right click and hardness is zero. This is the only thing you have to worry about. Then what you do is you zoom in a bit, hold your option key so it will bring up the color picker tool and then you click on the color of your icon. Then you make it a bit bigger. Make sure this layer is under your icons and above your model, okay, right here. Then you can do a click, something like this. Then change the blend mode of this layer to overlay. Now overlay is not like some universal blend mode. If your image is different, you might have to try a different, like a blending mode. It's okay, try all of it. So that's done. And that's how I created, and you can even paint it a bit more if you want to make it more powerful, but I think that's too much. Okay, this is enough. Now let's zoom out a bit and do the same thing for Instagram. But now you will see a problem. See, when I, uh, let's make the brush a bit smaller using bracket keys. So now if I pick up a color from here and I do a click, it's too saturated and strong, right? We don't want that. So what you can do is you can reduce your brush opacity before you click. So I think 40% is much better. So again, pick up the color and then do a click. Then again, pick up another color from here, I guess. Yeah, and do a click because Instagram icon is multiple colors, right? So I'm going to pick another color from here and then do a click or one more. And that way, uh, now we have a really nice glow that's also affecting the environment. Uh, and this is exactly how I created all of the icons. Now, instead of wasting your and my time, I'm going to just bring icons from my original file. And then I'm going to show you how I did the overall color correction to blend both of them together. So all the icons are here and for this three I'm just gonna quickly add some face glow uh, to make them look nicer. Done. Uh, now I'm gonna show you the color correction. So for that activate your Instagram or whatever thing is all the way on the top then create new adjustment layer and this time I'm gonna get a selective color uh, you cannot see it in recording i think but it's the last option here so it says selective color click on it uh, and this i'm gonna go and put it uh, sorry <laughs> i'm gonna make sure i have selected blacks and in the blacks i'm gonna go and make it minus five yes so this applies some overall effect uh, that affects the icon and the image both and it, it looks nicer uh, in short <laughs> You can keep it if you like it. It's not mandatory. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how I created this uh, simple uh, 3D social media icons that glow in the dark. Pretty easy to follow. Anyone can do it. Now here's the best part. Like <laughs> the same way I borrowed icons from my original file to here. You can actually take those icons anywhere now. You know, because you already made them. They're in a separate group. So here's the fun thing. You can go to file and then go to uh, this time let's open a different photo so you can go to file and open a new photo just make sure it's a bit similar in lighting so i'm gonna open this photo so uh here's the photo pretty cool photo uh, then you can go to your file here this one's right so now let's say you can just click on twitter press command c uh, then you come to this file and then you can press command v and it will paste the uh, entire icon with layers and everything right here. So as you can see, now we have a small blue bird near her hair. So as and then you can make it bigger, smaller, do whatever the hell you want with it. 
uh, and so yeah that's that's it this is the tutorial <laughs> i hope you guys learned something from it and if you did hit that like button and if you have any questions or suggestions you can ask me in comment section below and you can also subscribe to my channel uh, so every time I upload a new video uh, you will get a notification and you can click on the notification icon so you actually get the notification <laughs> because <laughs> normally just subscribing doesn't work uh, so yeah uh, and here are some more videos if you want to check out more content from me they're pretty cool I, I promise <laughs> so that's it uh, till then goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop <laughs>